welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the shed. We've got the Defender in today, next to the big girl here. Got a little project. Now, I have been looking for a new start battery for, let's say, six months. There's been a few requirements. It's not as easy as just dropping in a, um, another battery. So I want to go lithium. But the problem is with lithium is heat. Not so much an issue in Defender because the battery is under the seat. Another problem with lithium can be discharge current, particularly when winching. Now, a lot do claim that they can winch off their lithium batteries. However, some of the winching we've done, we've been pushing the winches to their limit. Um, so it wasn't just going to have to just cut it. It was going to have to easily um, be able to handle winching. So, and I mean, some winches these days can draw 400 plus amps. Um, so you do need a fairly high discharge current and there isn't too many lithiums on the market that I'm aware of that do have a really high discharge current. Let's have a look at what I've found. All right, so this one is an 80 amp hour hybrid starter from Invicta. 12.8 volts, 80 amp hour, uh, 10.3 kilos, so she's bloody light. 1400 CCA. Um, as I said before, max discharge current on this one is, I think it's 800. Uh, maximum charge current is 600. Um, so let's have a little look. All right, there she is. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty good looking battery, but even better looking spec. So today we are getting rid of the old one. I've actually got a battery in the Defender at the moment from another car, so it's um, a pretty small one. The previous battery leaked acid everywhere and made a mess. So yeah, this is a welcome sight. So let's get into it. So as I said, the Defender batteries under the passenger seat. So this is the current mess we have going on. So we've got the Shieldman here, just got the base lifted up and just click the seat belt in. And that keeps it up just enough to um, manage the batteries basically. And a lot of people actually ask as well um, whether whether you can actually get a battery in and out with these Shieldmans, just with the base of the Shieldman lifted up. And yes, you can. I can get both lithiums in and out just through this gap here. So um, yeah, for those that are wondering. Anyway, there's the battery to remove, a whole heap of wiring as well. So we've got, this is factory stuff, this is AC wiring. Couple other things, We've got the winch, um, auxiliary fuse panel, shunt for the red vision. Um, so let's just disconnect this one, get it out, and then we can start dropping these batteries in. All right, so at the moment I've just got the positive and negative hooked up for the vehicle, and being the 300 TDI, they're pretty basic, so it's just one wire for each. So let's grab a spanner. Okay, so one other thing I'm gonna to have to do for this install is swap out the different lugs on the battery. So um, rather than, well, rather than these lugs, they are, or the posts, they are M8 bolt. So we'll just take this off and crimp a eye, eyelet, eye fitting, I don't know. You might be able to just see the bottom of the battery compartment in these Defenders. They're not actually flat, or well, they're designed for one big battery uh, sitting long ways. I've put a bit of uh, channel in there, so just an aluminium RHS, just to bring that floor height um, the same as over here. That way you can put two batteries uh, next to each other. But yeah, the battery box is a bit of a pain. You've also got, you've got plenty of room. You can't use half of it due to this piece 
back here, that's actually got an angle. This thing is seriously light. That, tack, that uh, tucks up there nicely. Okay, now for the auxiliary battery. So I already had a lithium battery for my auxiliary. So let's drop that one back in. Okay, so Invicta's in. Got the auxiliary lithium in as well. So the Invicta actually has a button on the top here. That is what they call a jump start feature. So it actually, when you get a flat battery, it remains with enough in there to Crank the, uh, crank the engine, so you push that button down, you've got 30 seconds of emergency cranking. Put the eyelets on these, taking the other battery terminals off. Um, now it's just a matter of bolting everything back up, so you can see the shunt for the Red Vision is tucked in the corner there. Now things are pretty tight in here, but you know, it works, just. Just made up a short line here, just to power, um, some fuses. So I'll do the same thing for the auxiliary battery, but off the start battery we'll have obviously engine, winch, this cable for the fuse box. I think that's about it. All right then, now battery is in. And I was once again reminded how much of a pain in the ass these Defender battery boxes are. So I've got a couple more accessories to wire up, but um, yeah, essentially battery in. Probably thinking um, this is the right hand terminal version. Obviously you can get left hand as well. I'm thinking maybe left hand would have been better in this case. It is very hard. I'm not gonna be able to show you, but I've just I've just done up the earth and it is like probably, I don't know, it's well under this panel anyway, so it is a pain in the ass to get to. Um, it was on the last battery as well, so that's nothing new, but it's just these bloody defenders. We're good to go. I've just got a few last accessories to wire in. Um, a clamp that I actually didn't bring around to clamp in the battery and and we're good so let's crank her over and just And we're good to go. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, that is it for the battery install. I'm just gonna do a few of them accessories up and go and get that battery clamp. But we are done. That's the uh, Invicta uh, SNLH Max, um, 80 amp hour hybrid starter battery. Uh, let's see how it goes. I think it's going to be an absolute winner. <laughs>